Hello, I'm Stephen Parkin, and I'm one of the curators on the British Library's exhibition on Leonardo, along with my colleague Andrea Clark and Juliana Barone from Birkbeck College in the University of London. Um, the manuscripts that we put together in the exhibition show us his, the extraordinary range of his, of his working methods, um, the experimental way that he approached um, the observation, the analysis and the understanding of nature. I mean, in the Codex Lester, we have um, drawings which show him um, inventing devices to measure the speed and the current of, of water flow. Um, uh, and there are also thought experiments where the, he is sort of thinking through something and he does that in his notebooks on, on paper and we can see Leonardo thinking um, a, a possibility, a hypothesis through. What I wanted to point out here in terms of um, the themes of the exhibition, which as we've said, is studying water in motion, but motion more generally, also in terms of human bodies and human facial features, is Leonardo's interest in hair um, and in the way it moves and in the way it curls. And in particular, this head of Leda at the bottom, where the spirals of her curls, of her plaited hair, are studied with extraordinary detail. And if we refer back for a moment to the Codex Lester, the treatise on water he was preparing. Um, and if we look at the small drawings in the margin of the Codex Lester, um, here we see how the obstacle, the rectangular obstacle which is placed in the water flow, creates, um, again, curls and spirals in the flow of the current as it tries to get past the obstacle. And putting the drawings together with the drawings in the Codex Lester um, show us how Leonardo was interested in what connected multiple natural phenomena, um, the underlying patterns uh, of natural phenomena, um, and, and also how his interest in motion um, affected his work as a painter.